hello and welcome back to another episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with your host Rob Hale playing as Ely Forrest Keaton. In the last episode we uh, ventured a little bit deeper into town. We found this great house. It's got lots of stuff in it. So much stuff in fact that we are full up and we're going to need to do something. Uh, we're going to need to relieve some of this load that we've got here. <clears throat> we also switched weapons to a uh, machete here due to its uh, better speed. Uh, now I think what we'll do probably is just go away. Oh, child zombie kind of snuck up on us there. Possibly hearing some of the noise we've been making. Now, I don't seem to be able to run. Whenever I hit the run button, it just resets this to zero. See how it says 126? When I hit it, goes down to zero, so I don't know what's there. I can't run. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this child zombie up here. Looks like we will have to stand and fight. That is alright. Oh! Okay, she just moved onto that bush. So theoretically I should have probably about two whacks before she uh, makes a move. So. Ely's confidence is going up, but she's not a warrior, and uh, also killing these children is not so not so great for her morale. Um, it is something that that does deeply affect her, but uh, in this case, she doesn't really have an option, does she? So I th again, I think we should be able to get about two hits. Oh, let me look real quick. Uh, the speed for her, which you can see down here, is 182. Um, the moves that it normally takes for this machete is only 89. It's a very fast weapon, uh, but because she's so uh, geared up... Oh, you know, and I just realized she's got uh, her briefcase and stuff in hand, so maybe we'll actually move away. Yeah. So that afforded us the ability to move away kind of quickly. Yeah, we're seeing more child zombies. So let's, I'm going to zoom out real quick. Okay, there's a bush up here. So we're going to make a, a move for that, and we're going to use a little bit of distance that we have attained to drop our stuff. We're seeing lots of uh, child zombies over here in the park. That is a-okay. We're going to drop our backpack and our briefcase, and drop a bunch more stuff now our volume that was probably not good to drop all that stuff <clears throat> books maybe okay we are down oh. she caught up to us right when we let's try to get her to walk onto there okay I think she will now uh, as Ely is attempting to kind of dance around this bush to get this child zombie, to trick this child zombie into going into the bush, uh, the child zombie does manage to take a swipe at her, but uh, does not actually strike. Now I think if we look in here, oh, I don't want to compare, I hit the wrong thing. Uh, it should be faster now. We're uh, 157, so yeah, it's about 30 moves faster. <clears throat> and uh, unless I'm uh, unless I'm mistaken, about 100 moves is one turn in game, and one turn in game takes approximately six seconds. So this is something I've been kind of working on understanding better in terms of uh, you know playing the game at a, at a higher level. So. This bush, uh, when I scroll the mouse over it, you can see on the far right under the mouse view, it says shrub movement cost 400. So that's why you'll see a lot of people in, in Let's Plays uh, using the bushes for combat because it takes 400 to, for this child zombie to move over this, uh, to move over this bush 
but it takes uh, Ely only 150 or so to move uh, to swing this uh, machete. So it doesn't say. I'm trying to remember how many movement points child zombies have. I, I think it's either 90 or 100. So <clears throat> they're a little bit slower than we are normally. Although right now we're only at 94. Anyways, moving along. So I think I should be able to swing twice, like I said. And that seemed to make sense before, because I was able to move away from the bush twice before she was able to move off of it. Okay. Now let's wait for her. Oh, jeez. She's not playing this game. There. Now she is. So she's clambering through this bush, and, and Ely's using her brain. Um, and before before I continue on, one thing I did want to... I've been meaning to say from like five episodes now, and I keep forgetting... Is that one thing from a role-playing perspective that uh, I really, I really like about one of the mods that I do not have currently installed, which is called um, stats uh, through skills, I believe, something like that. And what that means is that as as your character develops their skills, if we look at the character sheet here, as the skills are developed then that improves your stats. And it makes sense, you know, that you would get a little bit more dexterous through practice of fighting, for example, or stronger by doing construction tasks and so on and so forth. So it all makes perfect sense. I don't have that loaded in now, but I think one thing that I want to do in this game, in this particular series, is that Ely is going to try to save the world with her mind. Um, yeah, she's going to have to fight. This is an apocalypse, right? She's fighting now. This is going to happen over and over and over again. But um, it's it's her mind that is her best asset uh, in terms of the story here. So what I think I'm going to do is do a little bit of a manual stats through skills thing for her. And what I want to do is that for every 20 skill points she develops, she will gain a point of intelligence. Um, so that's kind of how I want to work this. And it, it'll be in probably like the next episode. I won't do it in the middle of an episode, but uh, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, 20, does that make sense? Let's see. Right now she has 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, she has 20 right now. So for example, in all the skills that she's learned, in the last few days. I mean, quite a broad range of skills. She's learned how to build things in terms of fabrication. She's learned how to fight. She's learned how to heal people. Um, she's learned how to speak better, cook better, and all the ta uh, she, she can make things now tailoring a little bit. She's not very good at it, as we saw when she damaged her helmet and her rucksack. But anyway, she's getting there. And uh, as she learns, she's going to get sharper and sharper. And so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So 20, is 20 what I want to do? I'll think about it. If yes, I'll, I'll bump her up to 13 in the next episode. But it's going to be something like that, if not exactly that. So that's kind of what I want to do. Um, her other skills will stay the same. So she's not going to get any better at those unless, you know, through some other means in the game that that happens. Okay, let's fight. Speaking of. So she swung wildly and missed. So she's she's kind of burning up her opportunity that she had with the bush here. Okay, so she swung again. Uh, so the second turn that she had, probably before that child zombie is able to move off of that bush, uh, she managed to slice for 21 damage, and now she's going to move away again. So she's really trying to use her mind on this one. Right. Let's see. Are you going to get you to walk through? Whoa, did she just tear it? She just destroyed that bush. Oh my god. <laughs> She's got me figured out. Maybe this child zombie is more intelligent than we are. Okay. She's back on the bush. Swing again. Missed. Ah, oh, every time. And she is just much faster than, than us, I guess. Okay, so we're moving away. Yep, there's lots of zombie children over there. So we move around the bush. And then wait for her to approach. Man, she's clever. Did she hit? Uh, she she didn't harm, harm us, but she harmed our cargo pants, which are about falling off of our body. Okay, swing. Yes! So, Ely uses her brain. 
to make up for her lack of, of combat ability, and in doing so, is able to kill this child zombie without uh, any damage to herself, just a little bit of damage to her pants. Let's see. This child zombie has nothing on her, which is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, she only even had one tainted bone. She's very small, I guess, so let's uh, put our stuff back on. Pick everything back up. And I think what we'll do, uh, we can either go back and get um, Kit, or we can just kind of stash stuff here for now and continue on. I mean, it's still the morning time of day nine. Um, so I think, you know, we kind of want to make the best use of our time. So what have we gotten so far, just to refresh my memory? We did pick up a die staff and spindle to bring back with us. Uh, we have our fire axe still. Uh, some more matches. We got these earplugs, which is actually, actually a pretty good find. Um, got some food. We got these e-cigs and some drugs. Uh, there is a gun. Oh, we got a gun. That Remington near the top. And some books and things. So I guess I'll just drop this stuff off. Boat. And I, one thing I do need to do is is make the USS Boston a little bit uh, better for carrying things. Although I worry that's going to make us slow enough that it will be uh, hard to avoid those frickin' beavers. Let's see, flashlight doesn't have anything, so... Drop the tailor's kit for now. Well, I'm gonna hang on to it for now. Drop this some of this stuff. <clears throat> Got lots of drugs. Got the books. Not the tainted bone. I'll drop the Nomax. I think we used the uh yeah, it looks like we used Let's see. We found some uh I'm doing things and speaking simultaneously or or not my not my forte apparently I have to go at this long stream right here uh we we found some our uh, uh some Kevlar in the last episode, and we have already armored something uh our helmet I believe after damaging it a little bit uh it should say helmet plus now, yeah. So our head is a little bit better protected than it used to be. So, let's see. Go back down to the house. I think I want to go to the boxing gym. That is what I'm going to do next. Do pretty well. Let's check out this car. I don't know if we have yet. Um, Does not have enough wheels. I think we have to check this out. But we might use it for parts later. Okay, here's the boxing gym. And one reason I'm excited to go in here is because this will have some books that we can use for fighting and as we know Ely's strength is her intellect and being able to read oh and we also have some potential food here yeah okay purchase some clean water how much do these cost? this is a dollar sixty and on this one card alone she has 85 bucks. So this is why we picked these up. Now you can smash these, but they have alarms typically, and alarms are bad for a lot of reasons. Fruit juice, yeah. Okay, we'll pick up some of that. We don't, was that mineral water do I see? Oh, clean water. Mineral water? What am I thinking? Let's see. Looks like we are good in here. Let's check the back. Sports drinks. Hand wraps. Does this do anything for us? No. Made out of cotton. Now this head gear is interesting. It covers 75% of the head, which is less than our combat helmet. And I'm sure the bash and cut is less, but mm, Kit has a combat helmet as well, so I think we're going to keep that. Rain hood. 
This might be good for keeping us uh, protected from the rain. I'll take that. Box and gloves. Actually, pretty warm. <laughs> I might take these for the leather potentially, but anyway, for now, I'll keep it. It's fine. Keep it in there. I mean, first aid kit. I will take you. Protective. What does that say? Mouthpiece. Oh, you know this might be good for our, for our mouth. First aid kits. Lots of first aid kits. Lots of drinks, lots of uh, aspirin. So this is turning out to be... I haven't found any books yet. Uh, but I have found lots of other great things. This, uh, All these drugs and the first aid kits are, are pretty awesome, actually. Lots of leather in here, too, if we need. Yeah, all this stuff is made out of leather. Oh my god, six first aid kits. Wow. So these are actually a surprisingly great source of uh, resources. This boxing gym. Um, so far not exactly... There's a shower, there's a bathroom. So far not exactly what I uh, expected to find out. Oh, there's some books up there though. Sewing kit, take you. Matchbooks, bandages, aspirin, duct tape, first aid kits. Holy smokes. Lots of mouth guards. Lots of duct tape. And then lots of fighting. So this is not going to do us any good, right? If it's gray, that means. Yeah, my melee skill is already over three. So here we have a karate handbook. This is what I was thinking I would find. Karate, Taekwondo, Boxing Monthly, Practical Pugilism, and this CQB is, we are beyond that, it's a melee of one. Cool. I've already got all those. Oops. Spotted a tough zombie way down. Way down over here. I'm assuming it has not spotted us. No, it has not. So, we are good. To worry too much about that. We already got a tech one, though, yes. Okay. Oh, there's another tough zombie. This one is oh, a swimmer zombie. That one's much closer, but. We, we are, remain unseen. Yes. Close this door so I don't have to worry about her. Cool. Well, this was uh, everything I wanted it to be. Are these. Just want to see. Oh, I guess these share these. Both of these um, share a inventory. It looks like. So, is there anything I can do for this punching bag? Can I disassemble it? No, no it's drop. That is multi drop. Disassemble. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know what it is. Oh. It's not great to try to climb over exercise equipment, although this only takes 150 to get over <laughs> versus the uh, bushes, which are uh, much harder to get over. But a tough zombie again, and that one is down south yet again. So down in this next street, so we're actually pretty safe to go, I mean, and I don't think we can go all the way over to here to this house because this was like death death row over here to to borrow a phrase but um the zombies down on the next street which is to be expected it's just gonna get they're gonna get thicker and thicker as we go I on this world I, I have a multiplier on the zombies I believe uh, I did when I initially set it up I don't remember what it was exactly I don't know if, can I see the world options here Bindings, options, active world mods. See it here. Info. Missions, kills, morale, message, lockback. No. 
So I don't know if I can see the world, uh, things that I've done in the world here, but um, she's killed 22 zombies. Well, 22, uh, 22 things. Four of them were cockroaches. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's drop. Let's drop. <clears throat> um, sewing kit. I'll keep the tailor's kit on me for now. Can I put a rain hood on? I'm going to see you in a minute. Let's drop off some of this. The drinks I have. Tamed. 22 first aid kits. And now we have 337 aspirin. That is banana sandwiches. Okay, jump all that off. Oh yeah, I do want to try to modify. So let's take our tailor's kit <clears throat> and modify a protective mouthpiece with leather, which does increase it. So it does have a two, two and two um, normally, naturally, to protect the mouth, which is cool. And if I line it with leather, it brings it up to three and three. If I line it with Kevlar, it's three and four. But I, I for now, I don't want to waste Kevlar on something a boost that small. Uh, it does increase the encumbrance, but this is head encumbrance. Oh no, actually, it's mouth encumbrance, so it may affect the stamina. We'll see. But I think it's worthwhile, even if even if for nothing but just the practice. There we go. So speaking of the practice, let's see. Tailoring is 36% right now, so I'm actually just going to do that again see what happens. Modify the other one. Better. Failed. And I wasted thread and materials. Great. But, uh, yeah, well, I gained 2%. So, let's see if I activate the tailor's kit, is it gone? Oh, it's still there. Undamaged also. I must have wasted some leather. Man, I failed again. Oh, practice makes perfect, I guess. Modify. I'm going to give this one to Kit, if it works out. How am I failing so many times? Is my fo no, my focus is good. <clears throat> well, every time I fail, I'm gaining a little bit. Just, yeah, no, not first. Taylor's Kit. Modify. Mouthpiece. Leather. And I damaged it. Okay. Well, I don't want to wear. I want to wear my mouthpiece plus. Cool. Got some more armor. Got stuff there for now. And let's see. I do want to go back to this house at some point, but I think uh, it does have some, some more guns and stuff, I think, in it, and some other interesting things. This boxing gym, I am going to toggle that explored. Okay, it's grayed out. The police station? Maybe worth checking out. House? Electronic store? I'm definitely interested in that. Sporting goods store. I'm interested in all of that. Let's go over here and see if we see anything. No. Assuming these are all pulped. Yeah. Just go down. Let's stick a little bit cl oh. Spitter zombie. That is bad news. And the spitter zombie does see me. That is even worse news. <laughs> I don't know if I want to tangle with a spitter zombie right now. I would attempt to trap her inside the store here, but uh doesn't appear to be an option either. Go up here and see if she comes for us. Yeah, she's coming. Is she though? Where you at, Spitter Zombie? She overshot the mark quite a bit, now she's lost track of us. What to do? You know, maybe I can just... I don't think she can spit through... Some aspirin and some batteries. Take all that. 
<laughs> a little, a little distracted. Oh, tour's guide. Oh. Yes, please. Uh, I know I spotted a spider zombie, but what I want to do is um. I can't climb over that. Shoot! Don't spit at me, please. Okay. So she can walk through here, and then I can lunge in and attack, and I may be okay from a spitting perspective. She spits acid, and it's going to not only damage my legs, but also my gear, which uh, I'm even slightly more worried about my gear than my legs, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm just, ooh, trash. Ah! Okay, get off of there. Wait. Okay, attack, attack. Come on, kill her. Shoot, you know what I just realized? Okay, she's dead. I just realized I was fighting her while still holding the briefcase and all that, which is really stupid. Oh, my armor helmet is still super damaged. I think that was all me. This stuff, I think, was that way. The leather duster might have gotten damaged a little bit, but I think that's it. I don't think the... Yeah, no, the boots are still good. So I'm going to wait for this to dissipate a little bit. I do want to look at what she has. She does have some duct tape and a cash card. She got, she was swimming in it. I'm going to wait for that to dissipate. Uh, meanwhile, oops, I do want to look at my map, but I want to look at it after I use my tourist guide. So this uh, will tell me the tourist locations. Um, like hotels and attractions, and it should give me a road map also. Let's see. Activate. Okay. Updating my, my map, which will take a second. I'm going to take a drink. Now, okay. Now it added roads and tourist attractions. So let's take. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a drink and process this. <laughs> okay. Wow, I mean, I knew this was a big city, <clears throat> but holy smokes. Okay, let's see, where are we at for time here? 26 minutes. Okay, we got a little bit of time left. We're going to do a regular length episode today. We've been doing a lot of double episodes, which is great. I love love doing them, but, uh, ooh, this, oh my god. <laughs> This is, uh, you know, intended to be Boston, right? I guess it's intended to be Wellington. But, uh, you know, let's just say Wellington is an imaginary uh, suburb of town near the outside of Boston. And as you can see, um, oh, wow, this goes forever. So we can get an idea now, actually, of how big the cities are. And uh, they are a very good, good large size, and we can see now how far apart they are. So this is actually pretty great because what we're seeing here is this very south end of Wellington that we uh, have approached this this last time. Uh, we can see that there is a bridge right here, and um, and little little parts of Wellington. To the east, this this might be worth exploring. So, like something that we may want to do because where we are now, I guess, would be kind of Wellington proper. And I mean, if you take a look like this, it takes up the entire map. Wow! And then some by a lot. Look at the size of this city. Holy cow! <laughs> I don't think in this game I've ever seen a city this large. I'm pretty sure I have not. That is absolutely massive. So this is clearly Wellington proper. Again, a suburb we're saying outside of Boston, because this is intended to be a Boston run. And I'm thinking maybe like e Ely and Kit, they they were going to uh, maybe Harvard or MIT. Let, let's just let's just say MIT. Why not? Let's just call it they're going to MIT. Um, and living in Wellington, I guess, and traveling over there. So, so I don't even know necessarily if it ends here or yeah, I guess it does. There's stuff over here, Cooper. So let's see what these are. 
That's a museum. These are coffee, it has coffee shops on there. That's hilarious. And fast food locations. It's a big block right here. All right. Well, wowzers. That C, I believe, over here is a cathedral. Wait, I didn't make it. Right there. <laughs> okay. That is a very large city. We've only seen a very small portion of it. So maybe it would be worth coming over here and taking out these small chunks, um, totally clearing this out. With the level we are at, we are at um, that might be. Uh, we have not seen. You know, it'd be nice if we get to get a road map so we can find uh, gas stations. We have not seen any gas stations, and that is slightly troublesome because I don't know. It almost seems like maybe there aren't any. I smash this. Uh, is it? I know that's a wall. What is happening? Oh, it's hitting in the wrong direction. That is just a spitter zombie corpse, so I do need to smash it, which is slightly dangerous. Stop smashing. Ah. Usually it squirts in the opposite direction from my experience, but... And it's only damaged. Okay, well, I'll do it again. Yeah, stop smashing. Mangled now. Although I'm wondering, I think, I can't remember if you can butcher them and it's fine. It probably is, so I should probably should have just done that. Zombie cop is to be expected because there is a police station right down there. Let's take a look at where this zombie cop is. Zombie cop is injured, and there are some broken windows there that could be good for us. Um, since the zombie cop is injured, I think I'm going to not be afraid of him. How are we doing here? This does have enough wheels. Most damage is the seat belt. That's okay. It has 0% battery. I'm not totally sure why that is. Oh, the controls are dead. No controls. Now, let's see. It does have a large electric motor that is workable. Does it not have any battery because it has like a damaged... Have a swappable storage battery. Okay, so I don't know why there's zero. Oh, because the solar panels are dead. That's why. Oh wait, what about the back ones? Oh, those are okay. I wonder why it's not not uh, storing at all. Yeah, we know this is on the cop. Moving a little deeper in. Oop, no, this is. Down there, it is a decayed zombie. It does see us. That zombie cop is almost dead. I think, I guess it's fighting something, maybe, because it's more injured than it used to be. Let's go on to the top way down there. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. Something down. So I think uh, we may just take on this. It's fine. Take on oh, the baseball bat. Has a bash of 19 to hit of plus three, so it's not quite as good as our as our machete. Although it um, is bash, which I think we're a little better at. But I will pick that up. Well, bomb is all over the place, and I'm going to let this zombie come for us. Right. Once again, uh, her confidence level in herself is, is, I know I've said this a few times, but it is definitely going up, and she is willing to fight now, whereas before, not so much. Okay, I'm just going to close this for a second. I'm going to drop my backpack and my briefcase. Yeah, that's good. That's all I need to do for now. Okay. Now he's bashing on the door, which might not be so hot for us, but that's okay. And she stabbed the zombie for 21 damage. She maimed the zombie that time for 39 damage, killing it. 
and all the zombie did was attempt to grab us and we broke free from the grasp so kits or uh Ely's ability to defend herself is increasing and she is really coming into her own in terms of what kind of lower level combat we'll call it that is just a zombie can I close the door? Can I close the door? Zombie is too big to nudge out of the way. Okay. It's alright. We don't need this door closed. Put on our briefcase. Backpack yet again. Now let's take a look around. This book of first aid we already have. We will take this tailor's kit though. Swimming booty. What is it made out of? Let's just grab that. Let's actually just move that and cut it up. Okay, we got some neoprene. Wrong button. Wood axe. Yeah, we don't have a wood axe, do we? That's good. I will. Well, we have a. Oh, actually, we have our fire axe. Is fire axe. Do I have fire axe on me? Don't. I'm assuming the fire axe has a tree cutting quality to it. I guess I'll take it just in case. Hunting knife is that. I guess we have this book. Outdoor Adventures. I think that's what the yellow means. I've read it before. Um. So I have a hunting knife and a combat knife. Let's compare the two. The hunting knife has a way higher butchering, butchering quality. Um, they both have the same cutting quality and fine cutting quality. And the combat knife is questionably a better weapon. It's got a, a higher pierce, so it does a little bit more damage, and it has a bonus to hit. So that's cool, but it is slightly slower. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. They're both pretty darn good. Uh, it looks like the combat knife is larger, uh, which is probably what's giving it this to hit bonus, because um, the length of a weapon does as assist in the ability to hit, and also it can't be stored in as many things. So I might just take that. Uh, which I already did. <laughs> Might continue to take it. Modern rifleman has not been read by us, so I'll grab that just in case. I'll have it. Wet suit hood. Or outdoor adventures. This is more neoprene stuff. I wonder if it's better. It doesn't say anything about protecting against water, but I guess it would have to, right? So would this be better for our rain than our rain hood? Maybe. I'll take it just in case. Pitching a tent. That's hilarious. Take this long string. Ah, oh, backpack. Yes, please. I'm just going to wear both for now, I guess. Because why the heck not? It's going to uncover the crap out of me. But uh, this will replace my rucksack. That's what I was doing with the rucksack before, anyway. So it doesn't completely. The complete. Trapper. This is like a magenta type color. I'll take the slider. I guess that means. This definitely means that we. I think this means that we have read it because we know what it requires. We've we've read this before. Um, the reason why it's that color is because we can't yet actually learn anything from it. So I think we're just gonna leave it there. This canteen is one and a half liters. I guess it's oh, a large tent. Takes up a lot of volume, but uh, I will take it if if all, nothing but the aluminum that it has. Pro fishing rod? Yes, please. We live right next to this river, so tough zombie down there. It's okay to not see us presently. We live right next to that river. There's tons of fish. Uh, so as long as we can keep the freaking beavers at bay. Oh, I accidentally hit this, but I do want to look at this. She's hot right now and cold simultaneously. She does still feel guilty about killing, 
but uh, the pickled fish that she recently ate uh, far surpasses her guilt for murdering a child. So we're all good. Ooh, aluminum bat. That is a to hit bonus of plus three, which is pretty awesome. Ash of 20. That's better than the baseball bat that we had for sure. Take this aspirin, or I guess. I can never have enough aspirin. Let's compare the two baseball bats. It, what's happening? Why can't I compare? Oh, because they're down. Right, where, where'd they go? Oh, page two of three. Ooh, I have a lot of stuff on me. Here we go. Bat, bat. Boom. The aluminum bat has a better bash. Same to hit bonus, and it is a little bit faster. So, let's go right ahead. Drop our the, the order of these changes and it messes me up. I want to drop this baseball bat. We'll keep the aluminum bat. Swimming trunks, leather sandals, arm. Oops, skeletal dog. That's down there. I think we're good. Yeah, it does not see us. It's for a baseball helmet. Could be a good replacement for. Ooh, football armor. Bash 9, cut 9, I'm assuming, an encumbrance of 35. I'm assuming that is worse than our... NPR vest. Yeah, that's 10, 15 lower encumbrance, so... But I wonder... No, Kit has a... Kit has a uh, vest as well. Uh, NPR vest, I'm pretty sure. Fighter, sewing kit. Good. Just right there, yep. Socks, socks, BB gun. If we take this apart, what will that give us? Does this train, what is this train when we take this? Let's just take this apart later. Knife fighter's notes. We'll take carbon fiber arrows. Oh, material is Kevlar. Yes, please. Those and I will probably, oh nice. Do the flares set fires? Produce bright light for about a half an hour. Activate flare. Does this start a fire? I'm going to take it. Take all those lighters as well. My fighter's notes, we just picked that up. Glow sticks. Uh, is there a good use for glow sticks? I don't even know. It might be a source of plastic. Bikini top. Yes. I do some sunning. <laughs> Runner pack. Obvious choice for outdoor athletes. Ergonomic backpack is light and easy to wear, ensuring comfort and carrying heavy and bulky items. Cool. It has a storage of four liters, which is pretty low, but it also has an excellent encumbrance, so I'm going to take that for now. Fighters. Always will take that. Long strings. Always. Hard. Arm guards and a utility vest. White vest covered in pockets and straps for storage. Um, to cut to storage of three liters. I think we'll bypass that for now. These hard arm guards are, are interesting. Bash six, cut five. Let's see what our elbow pads do. Bash 8, cut 8, and then our arms are already fairly uncovered, so I think we'll just leave that for now. But, does... No, she has elbow sleeves as well. By she, I mean kit. Small plastic bottle, servings of... What is this, protein? Nutrition is not great, so I'm just going to leave it. Trench knife. Step combat knife features a steel guard to protect the user's knuckles. Oh. Um, does that affect my protection though? It doesn't seem like it. The guard can also be used for striking uh, or blocking. So it does have a block ability. That, that's what it does basically. That's pretty cool. A knife with a block ability. It is quite fast, but it's about the same speed as my machete right now and not as badass. Now, was there a boxing monthly over in that boxing gym? I'll grab it. Why the heck not? Let's grab these. They do have glare protection. I cannot remember. Do we have any anything for our eyes? I'm going to look here instead. 
supplies. We do have ballistic glasses on, so that is better. But my uh, kit may not, so we'll take it. Box and gloves. Don't need that. Wait, uh, did we already look over here? Just some aspirin. I already have that book. Let's take a look in the back. It's nothing. <laughs> okay. Alright. So we successfully cleared out yet another store. We have done some good looting today and a little bit of fighting. So I think that that's pretty good. We're a little bit longer than one regular full episode, uh, which is about 30 to 40 minutes. So I think we're going to call it a day here, and we're going to just continue looting. We are in some pain, so at some point here, thanks to that freaking spitter zombie, which we actually handled quite well. It was actually in death that the spitter zombie harmed us, but we had to make sure it wasn't going to come back. So I don't know if there's a better way to do that or not. But um, we also <laughs> got a road map of Wellington. And uh, Wellington, this imaginary suburb of Boston, is quite enormous, so that is both exciting and terrifying simultaneously. So we're going we're gonna to put a cut in here, and uh, we'll see you uh, next time in the next episode. Please do subscribe and like the video. Uh, it greatly helps out the channel. Both of those things uh, uh, really do help out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, greatly appreciate your uh, viewing. So thanks a lot, and we will see you again next time. Rob Hale, signing out.